So it's time for the Walking Dead season two finale, and I'm just so fucking excited. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Ah, so is this how um, <coughs> the horde came to find the farm or something? Fuck me, that's a lot. Oh dear. Like, do they ever need a toilet? I mean, if they did, I imagine they would just go for it, but still. I'm glad we've got an explanation for why there are so many of the fuckers. This is going to be a fun story to tell. Take a wild fucking guess, Carl. Don't think that would take them that long, guys. Carl's gone. What? He was upstairs when you find him. Then he's on me. He's supposed to be upstairs. I'm not leaving without my boy. We're not. We're gonna. We're gonna look at him. We're gonna find him. Right. Whoa. Love Maggie. Where's Carol? Keep her safe. And keep Glenn safe. Keep Daryl safe. Keep Maggie safe. We're good to go. Oh god, who are we gonna lose? That's gonna fucking stink. At least I probably know where the guys are. Yeah, just run them over. That would do the job. <laughs> Go on, Glenn, be a badass. I mean, you probably could have used Shane in a situation like this, but. Oh well. I'm loving this, guys. This whole like teamwork thing. This fuck is so dead. Yep. Yeah. Fuck, what you move? Oh, oh, goodbye, my friend. I can't remember your name, but rest in peace. Not a good way to go. I thought if we lose anyone, it might be characters like him. I feel like because we've already lost two main characters in two episodes, I don't think they'd kill any more off just yet. That is a bad thing, and they've lost the RV. Looks like the last bit of Dale gone. Go on, Herschel. I love how far he's come from the start as a character. The Herschel we met would never have done that. Just shooting him so casually. Listen to Carol. Or don't. Fine, die then. I thought she might die. You have to let go. She's a fucking runner. Can't imagine how painful that would be. Carol! Carol, don't you fucking dare. Get 
Get Carol. If I can get Carol. And yeah. Fucking hell. I was seriously fucking scared then. Well, the two people I thought might die have died. I don't know if there's going to be any more. Because they were kind of Deadwood characters, really, weren't they? Yeah, she'll get the fuck out! Herschel. Turn around. Oh, thank fuck. I <laughs> just covered the back of his head in blood. Lovely. Oh, fucking hell. I think it would have gotten stealth if it just stayed at the farm. So I think it kind of had to, like, find a way to destroy it at some point, but it's still really sad. And that's where they buried the people they loved, because it's got to be awful. Oh, Herschel. Things have quite literally gone up in flames. They're both fucking dead. That makes me very happy. Well, well, where's Mom? You said she'd be here. It's not fucking psychic, Carl. Calm the fuck down. I hate to say it, but they're all gone. There's no way even begin to start looking. Sorry. We can't go back. Sorry. 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 Probably should have all agreed beforehand if something ever went wrong where they would meet. Ah, Get all of them all happy. Is something going to go fucking horribly wrong now? They're never happy on this show, that's not a good sign. By the way guys, Shane's dead. They didn't show Andrea die, so I highly doubt she's actually dead. Aww, oh, let's throw back to Sophia. It's very sad. Well, that's Andrea. Didn't think she was dead. They were going to kill her off, they actually show it happen, I think. Gosh, she's still being hunted, fuck. You run, girl. Ooh! Stealth kill. 200 XP. Cow and Daryl just riding on that bike. It makes me laugh. Spear enough. Spear enough. I'd watch it. Daryl and Cow are just on the road. Running on fumes. We've all been through hell and worse, but at least we found each other. I wasn't sure, I, I really wasn't, but we did it. We're together. I'll keep it that way. Now, now we're back together. We'll find together. I wanna show you my heart is so, so true. And all the love I have is especially for you. Calvin Glenn. We're all infected. The 
CBC, Jenna told me. Whatever it is, we all carry it. Oh. I completely forgot about the thing he whispered in his ear. What it made difference? You knew this whole time. How could I have known for sure? You saw how crazy that was. That is not your call. Okay, how I found out about the walkers on the barn, I told for the good of everyone. Well, I thought it best if people didn't know. That would be a bit of a bummer to find out in his defense. Carl put him down. Pissed for. She told him to kill Shane like three episodes ago. Why is she pissed? Oh, Andrea. Poor soul. Ooh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Holy fuck, who are you? Where do I get a blade like that? I'm keeping this group together, alive. I've been doing that all along, no matter what. I didn't ask for this. Aside from killing Shannon. I killed my best friend for you people for God's sake. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. You saw what he was like, how he pushed me, how he compromised us. I feel like season three might be us. Rick's battle to gain everyone's trust. He staged the whole round with me, let me out to put a bullet in my back. He gave me no choice. He was my friend, but he came Except for Daryl, because that was like, we're cool, bro. I mean, I've had my issues with how Rick feels like he should like, be the leader and just assumes the role. But I'm kind of on his side with this. I say there's a place for us to Maybe not the whole C D C revelation thing. Maybe I fool myself. But with this I think but he's on in the right. Why don't you go find out yourself? You're saying this isn't a democracy anymore. Holy fuck. Okay, maybe I'm a bit less on his side now. <laughs> That? It's like a prisoner somewhere, isn't it? Maybe a mansion of some kind, I don't know. I really, really enjoyed that. That fucking flew by. I cannot believe that was 40 minutes. Um, I really liked the first 20 minutes where they were like taking down all the walkers and the farm went up in smoke and they all kind of got separated and had to come back together again. I really loved that. All of it, all the interactions of all the characters. We didn't lose anyone major, which I appreciated given the last two episodes. And, you know, I think in terms of who we lost, this was the best case scenario because those two never really did anything in the whole show anyway. So I think it was kind of good that we lost them even though that's a horrible way to go, but still. But I loved all of that, and it just shows that I really am getting really connected to these characters. I, re I thought I was so fucking scared for Carol that bit. Jesus Christ. I don't know what the fuck I'd have done. But she's fine. She's fine. It's good. Well, she's fine for now. God knows what's going to happen next. Rick's little, like, turn to the dark side, if you want to call it. That whole speech at the end. This isn't a democracy anymore. Don't know how I feel about that attitude. But it's an interesting way to take him, and I think season three is definitely going to be interesting in seeing if he can become the leader they all want him to be. 
and if he can win their trust. And I imagine season three is also going to be about that mansion or prison, whatever it was they showed at the end. Maybe that's going to be like their new farm. Um, I don't know. And maybe there's going to be some kind of threat there that they have to deal with, and that's going to be the whole plot. And of course, Andrea getting saved by that mysterious hooded woman who's already a badass. She was just like, I need to get myself one of those swords. But yeah, I'm interested to find out who that is. I'm sure we will find out who that is. And I imagine we'll meet the group that they're from in season three. And maybe Andrea will join them or she'll just be escorted back to Rick. Who knows? So when Shane died in the last one, I had no idea where the finale was really going to go. But I really liked what they did with it. And I like that it kind of all fell to shit a bit. And they all had to break apart. And then when they came back together, they still kind of broke apart again. Maybe emotionally. Because I think a lot of them aren't very happy with Rick at the moment. I don't really understand why Laurie's not happy with Rick. Because she did tell him to kill Shane before. Maybe it's because Carl was the one who shot him and she isn't pissed about that. But I'm sure that's something we're going to explore in season three. Again, some characters didn't contribute a lot. I wonder who. I'm not going to go much more into that. Just kill him off. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see where all these characters go next. And now we really have lost like the deadest of Deadwood. There are still a few characters I'm like, eh. But now we've lost those, I think the stakes are even higher, and that gets me really fucking excited. So I'm really excited to see what season 3 is going to be about, and if we're going to meet any of those new characters that's been teased, and I feel like they need to set up a new threat, so I'm excited to see what that's going to be as well. And I just, I really, really love this episode. I cannot believe how quickly it went. I think this might be one of my favourite episodes so far. Um... Yeah, I really, really loved it. There are loads of episodes I loved this season. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. I'd have to like rewatch my reactions to kind of get an idea of which ones I really, really loved. I definitely loved this one. I think this one and... Is it episode four, I think? The one that was called Cherokee Rose. Those are, off the top of my head, the two standouts for me this season. And there have been a few kind of weaker, like, filler episodes. But overall, season two's been really fucking good. I like season one as well. I think season two's better than season one. But, you know, they had more episodes to delve into the characters, and that's stuff I really appreciate. So, yeah, lots of really, really great setup for season three. Really, really solid finale. I'm really happy with it, and... I'm so glad this season ended with such a brilliant episode. And I'm excited to watch more. <sighs> Hopefully someone will give Carol a hug in season three. Thanks for watching.